play No I, Nadie Mas by Sebastian Yatra. We are in standard tuning. There's no capo. In this tutorial, we're going to look at the chords and the picking pattern that you need to play. So, the chords behind everything are an F sharp, a D sharp minor, a B, and a C sharp. So if you know how to play those chords, you can skip a little bit ahead. Um, I'm going to teach you how to play those chords real quickly, assuming you know a little bit here. And then we're going to go ahead and play the intro where they go like... We're going to play that. Okay, so starting out with the chords here, we have a F sharp. So you're going to go all the way up to the ninth fret. Bar that with your index finger from the 5th string down. On your ring finger, you're going to bar the 11th fret, the D, G, and the B strings. That shape is the same for your C sharp. Just slide it down to the 4th fret and for your B. So those are the same shape. For your D sharp minor, you're going to bar your 6th fret, and then you're going to have your A minor position with these three fingers over here. So your middle finger is on the 7th fret of the B, ring finger is on the 8th fret of the D, and your pinky is tucked under on the 8th fret of the G. Okay, so we'll talk about the chords and the strumming pattern here in a little bit, but let's start out with how to play this intro here. So. This is a long stretch. I'm stretching one, two, three, four, five frets here. So if you're a beginner and you can't do this, we're going to go ahead and play a different way, but I'm going to show you how to play this as an experienced guitarist first. So your index would be on the ninth fret of the A string, and your pinky would be down here on the 14th fret of the B. If you can't do that, though, let's go ahead and slide our index up to the 11th fret of the G string here, and we'll play those two strings instead. Okay, so you're going from the 14th fret of the B with your pinky to your 11th fret of the B with your middle finger. Do that twice. If you're an advanced player, it's the same thing. Then we're going to slide down to our D minor shape here. So there I just have my index on the 6th fret of the A, middle fingers on the 6th fret of the B, play those two strings, add your ring finger to the 7th fret of the B, and then play that note again. Alright, and then after we do that, we're going to go to this G sharp shape. So your index is going to be on the 4th fret of the low E, pinky is going to be here on the 6th fret of the G, play those two strings, lift your pinky, now your middle finger's here on the 4th fret of the G, so lift the pinky, we're going to slide our index finger down to the 3rd fret of the G, so that part sounds like this, now we're going to move our index finger up 1 fret, and add our middle finger to the 4th fret of the A, and play both those notes, and then add your ring finger to the 5th fret of the D. You do that three times. Okay, so that's a lot. Let's go ahead and walk through it from start to finish here again. Okay, so it goes like this. Index here starts on the 11th, pinkies on the 14th. Okay, so that's how you play the introduction, and that's played a couple more times in the song. Let's go ahead and talk about the progression that's played throughout. That sounds like this. So we're going 
going F sharp, F sharp for two. F sharp. Slide down to your D sharp. D sharp also for two. B for one. C sharp for one. F sharp for two. B, C sharp, and it ends on the F. So that progression is played throughout the entire song, and you can always switch it up with this guy. That's all there is to it. So that's going to be it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed this material, please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate that. If you'd like to see more tutorials and if you have questions, go ahead and comment below. Thank you for watching.